boys and girls, it's Mrs. Bowman. We're going to do our interactive read aloud, Why the Sun and Moon Are in the Sky. Why the Sun and Moon Are in the Sky. A retelling of a Nigerian folktale. How do you think the sun and moon got into the sky? This folktale offers an explanation. Long, long ago, the sun and moon lived on Earth and shared a home on top of a hill. From their home, they were able to observe the vast sea. Every morning and evening, the sun and moon left their home to visit their good friend, the sea, and her family. The sea had a large family. Among her children were dolphins, whales, seals, and schools of fish. All of these creatures called the sea mother and she never went anywhere without them. One morning, while the sun and moon were visiting the sea, they had the same idea. Dear friend, each morning and evening we visit you, Sun said. Yes, added Moon. Now we would like to invite you to our home. Will you come to visit us? How very thoughtful of you to invite me to your home, replied the sea. Of course I would like to visit you. However, I never go anywhere without all my children, and I fear that your house is too small. The sun and moon looked up at their small house. They thought about how big the sea was and how many children she had. We shall build a new house, said sun. Yes, added moon. We will build a larger house so that you and all your children can visit us. So the sun and moon built a very large house. Their new house was so huge that it covered the entire top of the hill. In fact, it was the most enormous house that the sun and moon had ever seen. As soon as their house was completed, the sun and moon went to the sea. Our new house is finished. We are certain that it is large enough for you and your children to visit us, said the sun. Please come and visit us tomorrow, said the moon. The next day, the sea and her entire family arrived at the sun and moon's new house. The sea asked, May we come in? The sun and moon replied, Yes, dear friend, do come in. So the sea flowed in with some of her children including small fish, large fish, spotted fish, striped fish, and some beautiful creatures with shells. Soon the floor was covered with nearly two feet of water, and the sun and moon were standing on top of a table. As the sea kept flowing in with more creatures, she asked the sun and moon, Should we continue to come in? And the sun and moon replied, Yes, dear friend, do come in. The sea kept pouring in with more of her children, sharks, stingrays, dolphins, seals, and a giant whale. Now the sea and her family flowed above the tables, and the sun and moon had to climb on top of their roof. The sea kept asking, should we continue to come in? The sun and moon did not wish to be rude. They replied, yes, dear friend, do come in. As the sea flowed in with more of her children, she filled the house to the ceiling. The sun and moon had nowhere else to climb. Their whole house was underwater, so they flew up into the sky. And there they have remained to this very day, watching over their good friend, the sea, and all her children. I hope you enjoyed this folk tale. We know a folk tale is a story that is told to teach a lesson and it's repeated over and over again. But we all know that the sun and the moon did not start on earth because, well, first of all, we know how much bigger the sun is than the earth. It couldn't even be on the earth. And in our pictures here, it shows the sun and moon as the same size, but they are not even close to the same size. I hope you enjoyed this um, interactive read aloud. 
and go ahead and pick another book. The sea kept. Oops, wrong button. 